Are you new to YouTube and don't have a 4K camera? Or you have HD video footage that you want to upload to YouTube, but you notice that you don't get the crispest videos when you do upload to YouTube? Stick around, I'm going to show you how to edit your video so it uses a better Kodak for viewing your videos. Coming right up. Hey guys, this is Rob Moore. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I talk about YouTube tips and tricks, how to make money online, and product reviews. If that is something that you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you're notified when I upload new content. All right, let's get into this video. So if your DSLR or webcam only records in 1080p, this is an easy way to upscale your video to 4K so the video quality looks much better. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in Final Cut Pro and why you should do it for your videos as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new timeline. New event. I'm going to call this test. And I'm going to do two timelines. One timeline will be in 1080p. 1920 by 1080 is the resolution. I'm going to call that test. And then a new event. I'm going to call this test one but in this video I'm going to choose either 2k no we're going to go with 4k because the whole video is about um, upscaling to 4k and then choose okay okay so now under this project I'm going to import the video and I have this on my desktop over to the side so I'm just going to swing in a video I did a video me just acting crazy Okay, yeah, okay, Rob. And then I believe this one was um, 10, 1080p. This one is going to be 4K. Just bring and drop that in. Okay, so now that I have these two files, test one and test, I'm going to take this video footage, drop it down here. Test one, switch to this project. This should be a whole new one. Drop this down here. And usually you want the your files to render. I'm now going to come here and upload to YouTube. This one is the one that's in 1080p. That shouldn't take long because the video is very small. Go to another test. This one is in 4K. Follow the same process settings 4k let that upload and actually what will happen is um, once the 4k video is uploaded it usually takes a little time for it to render on the YouTube side so about 20 minutes you'll notice um, <clears throat> that the the Kodak changes from AVC1 to VP09 which is that higher bit rate yeah so when this um, portion what I've already done I've uploaded both videos I've given a little time to render and now I'm just gonna put the two videos you know side by side so the one on the left side is the video that has changed over the bit rate to be at 4k and the one on the right is the one that's set to 1080p um, I don't know if you can really see it but there is a little bit more crispness to the video on the left side versus the right now it's still good quality but you know I have a, a, a Mac monitor that doesn't record in 4k it records in, in HD now to, now to see what type of uh, Kodak you're actually using on your YouTube videos if you right click on the actual YouTube video uh, go to stats for nerds and you'll be able to see what Kodak you're actually using guys so there you have it so do you have any software that you use for rendering your 1080p video over to 4K? I'd love to know. Please leave a note below in the comment section and I'd love to take a look to see what type of software you guys actually use. Hey guys, so that's basically what you're doing. You're really just taking your video footage and importing that into Final Cut with the settings of 4K. Once you export that video out of Final Cut Pro, it does uh, have a higher bit rate and when you upload it to YouTube, uh, the, the sharpness is just a little bit sharper. It's still in 1080p, but it's a lot more sharper. 
If you got some value from this video, please click on that thumbs up button and uh, the subscribe and bell notification so you get notified when I upload new content. All right, guys. Bye for now. See you on the next video.